There is a superstitious custom which is yearly continued and practiced in this and the neighbouring parishes by many young people, and some of riper age. Going to the top of the mountain, where, as we are informed, they behave themselves very rudely and indecently for the greater part of the day. The Curate and Wardens of Lonnon, 1732. Lair Lunis comes from the Celtic Age on the Isle of Man. It is Lunis Day, dedicated to the god Lug, who was brought up at the court of Manannan, the great Celtic deity of the Isle of Man. Part of the celebrations of this day was going to the top of the hills in the Isle of Man, where they would do things which the church would later describe as wicked and superstitious. By the 1800s, the church was beginning to claim the celebration. Priests would go up the mountains and preach to the crowds they would find there. We're told of a man called Patrick Begg, who would find the crowds on Snay Fell and provide a short service before handing round the collection box. Apparently this was an effective way of dispersing much of the crowd. A hundred years later, by the end of the First World War, a service was organised on South Barul to mark the day. They invited the famous musician of Grenoble, Tom Taggart, to lead the service on his cello, or as he referred to it, his fiddle. The hundred people who went to the service on South Barul were continuing, in their own way, a tradition which had been practised in the Isle of Man for centuries.